Hey babes, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we will be installing these clip-ins. This is featuring Lachey Hair. So big shout out to Lachey Hair for sponsoring today's video. So let's get into this look. So today I have two sets of seamless clip-ins. These are in the texture Kinky Straight. I have two sets and both of these are 18 inches. So I'll have all the details to the left of the screen. So you can catch up on all of those. But for this look, I wanted to try something that I've never done. So I've done quite a few clipping installs on the channel at this point. But I wanted to do like a wavy look with the clippings. So as you can see, I will be doing the braided install method. And here I am just going to sew the back of my natural hair braids up so that they're not in the way. Plus I plan on doing a few clip-in installs, so I'd rather just have my hair up and out the way. So here I'm just going to go in and start to install these clip-ins from the nape area. They do have different sizes within the set. So you use each size according to the placement in your hair, how it fits. So considering that I had no leave out except for the perimeter, the nape, and the horseshoe, I spaced these out a decent amount. Even if you have your natural hair out, you still have some wiggle room to space these out. So it all depends on how much hair you have or what look you're going for. Also, what length you're going for when it comes to how many sets you need. I say once you're going over 14 inches, you definitely want to do two sets of clip-ins. So as you can see, I use the majority of this set. I think I use just about every piece to achieve this look. So for this, I left the nape area out because I wanted to be able to put it in a ponytail. So I can't wait till you see that at the very end because that is super cute you know at the end of the day when you're tired of wearing your hair down you can just throw her up in a ponytail and it is still very discreet kind of like a vixen sewing so you have all that perimeter left out and you can blend that accordingly so about these clip-ins i love the fact that the band is seamless because that makes for a flawless install very discreet you barely see anything this looks so good this is a natural color which is like a natural black so it does have that brown tinge to it in the light but you are able to dye this hair jet black which if I was to reinstall these I definitely would do that the texture blended perfectly with kinky straight you do have those defined crimps in there the best way to get rid of that is to wash the hair and blow it out even if you don't want to flat iron it, once you wash it and blow it out, you will remove those crimps, which I know some people don't care for, but it doesn't bother me too much. This hair is human hair. As you can see, I was able to curl it. I didn't want to put too much heat on my natural hair, so I tried to keep the curls towards the ends of the hair for more like a beachy wave. But if you don't mind using heat on your hair, you could definitely blend your hair in with the clip-in to achieve this look. Either way, the finished result is going to be beautiful. So this is available on Amazon. I will have all the links down in the description box. They have quite a few different textures. So if you don't want kinky straight, they do have straight. And they have a few different colors. So definitely head on over there. These are also available via Amazon Prime. And there is a coupon code where you can save 20%. So this particular set, just one, will run you about less than $70. You can't beat that. So shout out to Lachey here for sponsoring today's video. Shout out to y'all for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.
Yeah. 